That would be our first question. Black had a backboard of support. I think it was on C7. Could have been on C6. We'll have to find the game to remember. A C5 here. <coughs> Taking it makes sense, yeah? D takes C5. Pawn up. Extra pawn, pass pawn. Potential queen. Leader of the land. What could possibly be Black's idea behind C5? Any suggestion for first move for Black? Yes. B4. Okay, we're going to try to do this in the head. I know some are going to struggle. We'll do it at the board as well. <coughs> so uh, please uh, forgive me. So D takes C5, D4. If I play bishop f2 and bishop c5, black has achieved something. So then in that case, we'll maybe rather not take. So the only way to move is d c5, d4, <coughs> bishop takes d4. Black's idea is bishop takes c5. There are no other idea. Now we are pinned with the queen, so we have to bring the rook into defense of queen. f2 is the move. It looks like it's pawn up. Yeah? Any ideas for black? Yes? Queen b6? With queen b6, I play bishop takes c5. When you play yeah, here, yeah. I take it. I take it. So rook first you play rook d4, yeah? Yes. And then I play rook takes d4, and you play queen b6. Because rooks can be pinned on the diagonal and can be quite unpleasant. I have no choice, I will play rook b1. And then I'm one move away from B4 winning the game, yeah? Or at least ending a pawn off and then having a, a technical challenge ahead. So that is the critical position. Now I'll make it a little bit easier. Over there. Here, here. And here to find the move for back. easy. Remember we were doing this for our opponent and from afar. So it's quite a task for white here. If rook d8, then rook takes d8 check. We can always return to d4 when we're in position. Black doesn't have time to move away, we play b4. Black has to play an active move. Yes, sir. B4. If you play B4, I play King H2. <coughs> you still can't play Rook D8 because I play Rook takes D8 check. And next move, I play Queen D2, and then you have to take on, on D4, and I'll end my pawn up, yeah? It's not easy. This is Grandmaster Chess. The game is between Brusson from Cuba and Soskis from Lithuania. So a 2650 Grandmaster against a 2550 Grandmaster. Yes, sir. King H7. King H7, I play B4. You don't have enough time. You need to do something active. Hard even to find an active move, yeah? Yes. F6. Brilliant. Very well done. F6. What if I play E takes F6? Uh, rook E4. Rook E4. I'm insisting everyone follows this in the head. Four <coughs> takes here. The rook comes in this way to attack the rook. And then the pin is suddenly a huge problem. We don't have this thing we can take with check anymore. So we could imagine here, white plays b4, and then all black does is bring back a pawn. But oh, that's more problems. Your pawn on a6 is hanging. Or d6. 
Give you a little hit. You can attack hit point, but you can defend it. You're still going to get fought down. You're going to because with white, if we're, we're thinking about going into a rook and with an extra pawn, it might be very tempting. You want to know for sure. Any problems here? A little falsification? See if we can find a rook for black. Yes, sir? A5. A5, indeed. After takes, rook A4, double attack on the pawn, <coughs> and we end in a draw on rook ending. It's a very long variation. That's one of the ways that when we play strategic chess, sometimes we have to calculate these long variations. This is not a simple decision, but it's also not a critical moment because yet in one variation we have a sense that there's a chance here, but there isn't. And those are other good moves. So it's like, are we going to go for a position where we might be a pawn off? We're going to go for something else. Rosson, he calculated this very quickly <coughs> and didn't go for it. Instead, he played queen f2. to play f5. And now he's threatening bc5. <coughs> Black doesn't really want to take cd4, bishop d4. The white bishop becomes very strong on d4. It's not a bad bishop. It's a very strong bishop after that exchange. So he plays c4, and then white gets f5 in. This is quite a simple decision, probably didn't take a lot of time. Play queen h5, and here white has a strategic objective. We like to play g4. So king h2 would seem like a normal move. But still after g4, and the queen comes here. We don't want to exchange queens, because the black queen is in trouble. So again, you know, white would think deeply, and he found a really nice move. Just queen f1. He's defending the h pawn with his queen, for going g4. You could call this a simple decision or a strategic decision. I don't really care. Um, all I'm in for is trying to find ways to find good moves easier. The game he played bishop g5, he bishop f2, nice trade to win the queen, he went there, g3, and he decided to give up the, the bishop. But after a few moves, it's clear that he didn't have any compensation and he lost. <coughs> this is quite impressive play, quite deep play from, uh, from White. I'll show you one more example where White chose the wrong thing. And where at the time when I was uh, when I was writing about it, the the computer didn't understand the. Uh,